Well, currently the U.S. multifamily market is about 28.5% of our NACREF, which is our, uh, like the all ordinary index, it's our commercial real estate index. It's um, very much an increasing portion of the, U- the U.S. market because of population growth. The, the U.S. market has 327 million people. We grow at three and a half million per year. Property or real estate, as we call in the States, uh, is demographic driven. We, the people, drive uh, use. So when you look at the four major areas, multifamily, logistics, office, and retail, the one with the strongest growth uh, by far is the multifamily or for rent market. In the U.S., approximately 35 of households in the U.S. rent um, as compared to ownership, which is 64.5%. Well, number one is I think it's a nice complement to what Australia currently has, which is a terrific retail market. It's got a terrific office market and logistics market. There is not a build to rent market, so to speak, in Australia. It's, it's an ownership market. The U.S. is very much of an ownership and a rental market. But by the time 2050 rolls around, when we're uh, no longer in, in these seats, so to speak, uh, I believe the U.S. multifamily market will be the largest property sector in the U.S. And I think, it, quite frankly, it's a, it's a tremendous complement to what Australia has to offer for its domestic investors. Like our previous funds, it's going to be the exact same strategy, so nothing's changed in that respect. The other thing is we don't want the fund to be too large. We want to have the fund anywhere from 500 million of equity to 750 million of equity, which has been the same size as our funds two and three. We don't want any pressure to put out money. We also want to be very thoughtful in growing a portfolio with 12 to 15 different geographic markets. We expect to have 20 to 25 assets. We expect to have 70% of those assets in our core competency of value add, light and heavy. And we expect another 10% to be in the value add purchase or core plus uh, market. And lastly, a little bit of ground up development. So thoughtful approach to portfolio management. We expect vintage year diversification. We expect product diversification. Uh, And we also expect on the financing side to have a wide variety of lenders. We don't want to be reliant on any one particular lender. Typically on a portfolio of 20 assets, we'll have um, 10 different lending uh, relationships. 